Welcome to Tech Topics. My name is Stephanie, and this is an introduction to voiceover. And today's lesson is all about using your calendar app on your iPhone or your iPad. For today's purposes, I'm using an iPhone 15 Pro for this date and time as a reference. I hope that you will like this video and subscribe to this channel, as well as checking out our many options for workshops and activities on our website at futureinsight.org. Today's lesson on calendar for the iPhone and iPad will include discussing the difference between Siri and voiceover with your calendar app, an orientation layout to the app, how to enter a calendar appointment how to delete a calendar appointment, how to edit a calendar appointment, where to find your invitations with other people when other people invite you to a calendar appointment or event, and how to hide and show different calendars, as well as how to create a whole calendar. Let's dig in. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Siri and all that it can do with a calendar, especially when you're getting started with voiceover uh, which takes you know a lot of practice and time and patience, but you really want to get going with entering some quick and easy appointments using Siri. For example, if you were at the dentist and they wanted to schedule your next appointment and asked you if you're available on May 15th at 2 p.m., you could say phrases to your uh, you know phone using Siri by just saying, hey Siri, what's on my calendar on May 15th at 2 p.m.? Maybe you'll, and it'll tell you if you have any appointments. Uh, maybe you want to know if you're available the whole day so things wouldn't run into the appointment at the dentist. So you could say, hey, Siri, what's on my calendar on May 15th? And uh, she'll let you know that too. Or you could then schedule the appointment if you are available by saying, hey, Siri, schedule an appointment with the dentist for May 15th at 2 p.m. And she'll schedule that. You could change the appointment, say they call you a week beforehand and say, could you please come in the following week on the 22nd instead? You could change it by saying, hey Siri, change my calendar appointment on May 15th with the dentist at 2 p.m. to May 22nd at 2 p.m. And it would make that change. You can also delete a calendar appointment using Siri by simply saying, hey Siri, delete my calendar appointment on May 15th at 2 p.m. And it would ask you if you're sure you want to, and you could you know, confirm with the prompt, and it will delete it. Uh, also note that any calendar appointment you create using Siri, it defaults to thinking it's for one hour. So if you schedule an appointment with a dentist using Siri for 2 p.m., it will think it ends at 3 p.m. This is really handy, though, to get your appointments on your calendar quickly. You can go into the actual app, which we'll discuss here in a minute, to you know make the edits to make the end time you know longer or shorter, as well as you, if you have the time, you can just simply create the appointment uh, from scratch using the app itself. There's a lot of great features inside the actual calendar app, but again, I just felt it was important to mention how quickly you can get started by using Siri for some of the calendar appointment options. All right, let's dig into this calendar app. You can ask Siri to open any app on your phone simply by saying, in this instance, hey Siri, open calendar. Or you can use your gestures that you have learned using voiceover. And if you need to refer back to other videos in this playlist, we do go over all those basic gestures using voiceover so that you'll feel confident when you approach this particular lesson. But you can touch the screen and flick right or left with one finger until you hear it say calendar. Calendar. Monday. And then once you hear it, what, what you hear is where you are with voiceover on. So I heard calendar and then I can double tap to open the calendar. Calendar. Screen okay, record. so I'm in the calendar. Most apps uh, have uh, a menu at the bottom with some options of things you can do with that app. Uh, this app is no exception, so I will orient you now to the bottom portion of the app by touching the very lower left. Toolbar. 
today. And there's button. a today view right there. Uh, next to that, if I flick to the right, calendars button. Bottom middle is calendars, and that's where you would go to find all your different calendars. And then if I flick right, inbox button. In the lower right is your inbox, which is where you would go to find any calendar invites people send to you to invite you to an event or appointment. All right, and let's continue to orient ourselves to this app. Let's touch the top left about a quarter inch down. Events, March, back button. All right, there's March, back button. This is what would take you back a layer uh, by double, double tapping on this. You would go back layer by layer so that you would see instead of a week view, maybe you'd see a month view and, and so on. Let's flick to the right. Selected, list, button. Here's a list button. This can be uh, highlighted um, or selected, as it's saying. Uh, you can turn that on or off, which would present the information a little differently. And I will uh, go over that in a moment. Let's flick to the right again. Search button. There's a search button. This is where you would double tap, and there'd be an edit field where you could enter uh, by dictating or typing uh, a date or uh, a word, a keyword that might bring up some results that you are looking for. And then flick to the right once more. Add button. And there's that plus sign or the add button. That's what will get us started when we enter a calendar appointment. All right, so let's, let's start by just showing you where we are right now. We are in the March section and the list is highlighted. So I'm going to just touch the screen about a third of the way down. Events. Eat ice cream from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay. Practice and in it, nine hours, it told me to eat ice cream. Minutes. I'm going to flick to the, I'm going to actually start a little bit um, sooner than this. I'm going to flick to the left a couple times. Tuesday, first Monday. All right. Day, Monday, March 11th, heading. All right. There's March 11th, heading. There's the sign. It just a sign is a heading is just a sign of where you are. We're on March 11th. Flick to the right. First night of Ramadan, all day. U.S. holidays. Okay, there's a U.S. holiday. That's the calendar, and it's saying the first night of Ramadan. That's the appointment in that calendar. Flick to the right again. Tuesday, March 12th. Heading. There's Tuesday, March 12th. That's just a heading, a sign of where we are. Flick to the right. Eat ice cream. From 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Practice in 9 hours, 46 minutes. All right, so this said that uh, the appointment is eat ice cream. <laughs> I added that in there at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And it's in the practice calendar. That's another calendar. It's different from the U.S. holidays calendar. This was entered into the practice calendar, and it even told me how many hours until it's coming up because it is the next event on my calendar. Let's flick to the right again. Saturday. March 16th. Notice it heading. skipped Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's because I had no appointments those days. I am now on the Saturday, March 16th heading. And then I'm going to flick to the right. Find my pot of gold from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Practice. And I enter that into the practice calendar. It, the title is pot of gold, 11 to 12 a.m. And uh, again, it's practice calendar. If I flick to the right again. Sunday, March 17th heading. And of course. Saint. Patrick's That's Day. That's St. Patrick's Day, okay? That was under U.S. holidays. I um, just uh, made it be quiet so I could continue talking. <laughs> All right, so you get the idea. This is my favorite view. I love this view because it gives me all my events and the, you know, the days and times and the events of what I have scheduled. It skips over the other days because I don't have anything scheduled those days. So I I'm not, you know, firsthand interested in those days where nothing's happening. I want to know what's on my calendar for what is happening. So I like this view. This is my favorite view. But you might discover as we move through the calendar app that you like a different view better. It's all personal choice. It's not one size fits all. It's how you like your app to be presenting to you. All right. So now let's touch that uh, March uh, back button about a quarter inch down from the top left. March back button. Now flick once to the right. Selected list button. This is that list button. It is selected. Let's deselect it, you know, or um, unhighlight it. Same thing by double tapping. March back button. All right. 
So now it's going to give me the today view in the sense that we're going to hear hour by hour. First night of Ramadan. Let's see. All Monday, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Flick to the right. 6 p.m. 7 p.m. 8 o'clock p.m. 9 p.m. As you see, I'm flicking to the right and it moves ahead hour by hour. I don't have too many things really scheduled in here because uh, it's a practice calendar that I created specifically for this session. I, for privacy and security, have hidden many of my calendars, you know, for those reasons. So if I flick to the left, I will move it backward hour by hour on today. 8 o'clock p.m., 7 p.m., 6 p.m., 5 p.m., 4 p.m. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. So that's how it presents itself if I deselect that list button. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. So I'm going to touch about a quarter of an inch down from the top left to hit that march back button. March back button. And I'm going to flick to the right. List button. There's that list, and I'm going to double tap it to select it again. March back button. All right, now let's see if it's back. Events. First night of Ramadan. All day. U.S. holidays. Okay. And flick to the right. Tuesday, March 12th. Heading. Eat ice cream. From 9 a.m. Right, it's back uh, presenting itself how I prefer. So um, giving me the events on the days where things are scheduled. Let's now move again to that March back button. About a quarter inch down from the top left. March back button. This time, let's go back. Let's double tap on that March back button. And we're going to double tap with one finger. March back. All right. Now, let's see how this presents itself. I'm going to touch about a quarter of the way down. Well, about a third of the way down with one finger. Months. Friday, March 1st. One event button. Now, let's flick double to the... Double tap to view events Oops. on this day. Sorry. Let's flick to the right a few times. Each time I flick to the right, you'll hear something... Uh, different. Saturday, March 2nd, no events, button. Sunday, March 3rd, no events, button. Monday, March 4th, no events, button. Tuesday, March 5th, no events. Wednesday, March 6th, no events. Thursday, March 7th, no event. Friday, March 8th, no event. Saturday, March 9th, no event. Sunday, March 10th, two events, button. Double tap to view events on this day. Okay, so I kept flicking to the right so you'd finally hear a day that had some events on it because, as I mentioned, there's very few on this calendar. Uh, so this is bringing me through every day, every day. It doesn't skip days, uh, but it has a button associated with each day, meaning I could open up, you know, any day I wanted to. Uh, it also tells me when I land on a day that has... Uh, an event. It tells me how many events, but it doesn't tell me what they are. So I find that a little bit, you know, one more step that I have to take to figure out what they would be. Uh, so that's why I like it on the, uh, you know, um, to present itself with the calendar appointments uh, and skipping the days that I have nothing. But this is another view where you would hear each day and it would tell you on the days that has an appointment how many there are. And then you could double tap and see what they were. Let's go back to that uh, March back button. Remember a quarter of the quarter inch down from the top left? Sunday, Feb 2024, back button. There it is. And now it used to say March uh, back button. Now it says 2024 back button. We're going back yet another layer if I double tap, which I'm going to do now with one finger. Anywhere on the screen. button. Doesn't matter. Once you hear it is where you are. So you can, you know, once you hear it, you can double tap anywhere. Uh, let's see. Now let's touch about a third of the way down and see what presents itself now. Years. Current month. March 2024. Button. Okay, there's March 2024. Double tap to view let's flick to the right. April 2024. And again. Button. May 2024. June 2024. Each time button. I flick to the right. July 2024. August. Each time I flick to the right, I'm moving ahead month by month. So this is great if you need to move ahead in bigger chunks, right? You don't want to have to move day by day by day just to get to August or September. 
So this is great for moving ahead month by month for bigger chunks of time. If you get up to December of 2024, it would just inflict, and if you flick to the right, it would move into January 2025 and February 2025, etc. Now let's uh, go uh, flick to the left to move backward or to previous months. So I'm going to flick left with one finger. July 2020, June 2024, May 2024, April 2020, current month, March 2024, button. Double tap to view days. Okay, so I could double tap to move into March 2024, which it said is current month. Uh, if I kept flicking left, you know, I'd hit February, then January. Uh, then I would go into December of 2023, November 2023. So I would move back into previous uh, months like that, into previous years, okay? But I want to stay in March, so I'm going to double tap on the current month. Current month, months, Sunday. February 18th, now, no events, a, button. Yeah. Double tap to view events on this day. Did you notice I double tapped on March, but it threw me into February, what, 18th or something like that. This is just the nature of this app, okay? It's nothing you're doing wrong or I'm doing wrong. It just, when you double tap on things, it will sometimes pop you into funny places. So it's the wonderful world of technology. <laughs> so I know I'm in February, uh, I'm close to the March. I could flick to the right. I could even just move my finger down, actually, because uh, we're pretty much on a grid, so I know I want to go lower into March. Months, Wednesday, March 20th. Now no I'm events. too low. Button, Tuesday, March 12th, one event. Well, I like that one. It's close enough, so I'm going to double tap on March 12th and open up that date. Events, eat ice cream. From 9 a.m. And there we go. Now I'm back in the uh, way I like things to show up uh, by just showing the calendar date heading and the event of anything I've scheduled. And it skips over the days I haven't scheduled. I'll flick to the right so you see that. Let me just, uh, I'm going to go left once just so you hear the date. Tuesday, March 12th, heading, eat ice cream from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Saturday, March 16th. Find my pot of gold. Okay. So there, I'm back into the way I like it to show. Uh, again, you can, you know, leave it however you like it. Uh, now let's add an appointment, okay? So I'm going to uh, touch about a quarter inch down now on the top right corner. Add button. And there's that add button. When, once you hear it, you can double tap anywhere. And I will do that. Text field is editing, title, character right. mode, insertion point at start. It throws you right into the title. Use the rotor to access. Oops, it throws you right into the title. So uh, the keyboard comes up. It told me I was at insertion point at start or the beginning of the title. I could type or dictate uh, this information, what I want to call this event. Uh, if you have a phone or an iPad with, and you're holding it um, portrait style, um, you could touch and you have the home button touch right above the home button there's a space bar and flick once to the left that's where you find your dictate button if you don't have a home button on other models of your uh, iPhones and iPads uh, you will find uh, without a home button and you're holding it portrait style the lower right is your dictate button dictate double tap to start dictation Double tap with two fingers when finished. Okay, so you could dictate any title you wanted here. You would double tap, just as the hint says, double tap with one finger, and then you would call it whatever you want. You know, I'm going to call this buy eggs. So I'd say buy eggs, and then I would take two fingers and double tap to stop that dictation, and it would enter those words right into the title field. But I'm going to type buy eggs. Cap N. Cap, cap, delete, cap, and delete. Sorry. Delete. If I can spell correctly. Cap, B, cap, B, U, U, Y, Y, space, space, by, A, ends, th three slash, me, A, E, E, H, G, 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 S, S, space, space, eggs. All right, by eggs. I entered it in there. All right, so now I'm going to move back to the top about a quarter inch down from the top left. 
cancel button. And that turns into a cancel button in the corner. Uh, if I changed my mind, didn't want to schedule this, I could double tap there. But I'm going to keep flicking to the right because I do want to walk you through scheduling an appointment. New event. Heading. Add button. Keep going. Text field is editing by X. Character mode. Insertion point at end. Eight. There's the title. Use the clear text button. I flick to the right. There's clear text. If I wanted to uh, retype the title, I could double tap here to... It would clear out the by eggs and I could re-dictate or type a new title. I'm going to flick to the right again. Location or video call. All right, location or video call. Uh, you, you could enter an actual address here or, you know, Zoom or Teams or whatever you want to put in here. Um, I'm not going to open this field because it prompts some intuitive uh, suggestions of locations and uh, it would reveal and show some sensitive and private information for me. But um, if you double tapped here on location, uh, then you could go to the top and there's an edit field where you could double tap and then type or dictate an address and then flick to the right once you find it, double tap and then you want to go to the lower right and double tap on done. Um, also, if you didn't know the actual address, you could double tap on this location button and start near the top and keep flicking to the right until you hear the suggestions of some previous locations you've been to. Maybe it's your hair salon and you've been there. It, it is intuitive and knows this, you know, quite often. It, it may, it may not, just depending on what it wants to prompt. Um, but if you find an, uh, a location that you've been to that is really where your appointment is, you could double tap on it and it would populate it in there and you could just double tap on done. Uh, so again, it does prompt things out that I don't want to reveal. So I'm going to leave it at that and we will flick to the right. All day. Switch button. Off. All right. Double tap to toggle setting. Here's an all day toggle button. If your event is all day, so you're at a seminar that's all day long, or uh, you're going to the beach all day, or whatever, and you need to block that whole day off, you could double tap to turn this on. Uh, and every time you double tap it, it will go on, off, on, off. Right now it's off, so I'm going to leave it off, and I'm going to flick to the right. Starts 11 p.m. 3 slash 12 slash 24. All right. Then it prompts a suggested start date. But it's not, this is not a field that you would tap on or work with yet. You have to flick to the right once more. 3 slash 12 slash 24 button collapsed. Double tap to expand. All right, so we are on the date. Uh, and so we have to expand this to be able to change the date. If you like, if that's the date you need, you don't have to expand it. But if you do need to change that date, you need to expand this to move to different uh, dates on the calendar. So I'm going to double tap to expand. Three slash cancel. All button. right. Let's say the appointment is for Thursday the 14th. Now, here's a weird area, too, with this calendar. Using voiceover, sometimes the calendar dates will be near the top. Sometimes the calendar date choices will be in the middle and sometimes they might be lower. So you just kind of have to touch the screen and find calendar dates and then you'll know, you know, that you're in the right area. Selected Tuesday, March 12th. Button. All right. So I got kind of lucky and I happened to touch Tuesday, March 12th. So I know I'm in the calendar area. I can flick to the right once. Wednesday, March 13th. Button. And again. Thursday, March 14th button. That's the date I want. Thursday, March 14th for this buy eggs event that I'm adding. So I'm going to double tap on that. Selected Thursday, March 14th. All right. And now I have to go back up uh, and touch about a quarter of an inch down from the top left. Cancel button. And I have to move back into this start date uh, field so I can collapse it because I've already got the right date now. So I'm going to flick to the right a bunch. New event. Head. Add. Button. Buy eggs. Location or vid. All day. Switch button. Off. Starts. 11 p.m. 3 slash 14 slash 24. Button. Expanded. 
Okay. Double tap to collapse. All right. So that is showing March 14th or 3 slash 14. It is expanded. I need to collapse it so I can keep moving on to enter other uh, information here. So I'm going to double tap to collapse this because it's correct. 3 slash 14 slash 24. And now I can collapsed. flick to the right. 11 p.m. Button collapsed. Double tap to expand. All right. I have to, this is the uh, time, all right, the hour, minutes, and a.m. and p.m. Right now, it is collapsed, and in order to work with it, I have to expand it. So I'm going to double tap. 11 p.m. Expanded. All right, let's say buy eggs is at 10 a.m., okay? I'm going to flick to the right. 11 o'clock. Picker item. Adjustable. 11 of 12. All right. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. So I have to flick down once because it's on 11. I need to move down to 10. 10 o'clock, 10 of 12. And I don't double tap. I just leave it there. Flick to the right for the minutes. Zero, zero minutes. And I Picker said item. 11 a.m. Uh, yeah, I said, of I, 60. I said 10 a.m. And it's already on, you know, zero minutes. So 10 and then zero minutes. Let's flick to the right to make sure we're on a.m. P.m. Picker item. Adjustable. Two of two. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. Okay, and it said PM. I need to make it AM, so I'm going to flick down. AM, one of two. Right. Now I have that all correct. I'm going to move back to that hour field that is expanded because now I need to collapse it. So I'm going to flick left. Zero, zero minute, 10 o'clock, 10 AM, button, expanded. Double tap to collapse. All right. I'm going to double tap to collapse it. Hints are on, so it told me. 10 a.m. Collapse. Now we'll flick to the right, and we can enter some more fields. Ends. 11 a.m. 3 slash 14 slash 24. All right. It gave me that little suggested time of an hour later, 11 a.m. on the 14th. That's just a suggestion, but we want to flick to the right to work with things. So I'm going to flick once to the right. 3 slash 14 slash 24. Button. Collapse. All right. So let's say the... Double tap to expand. Let's say the date is right. I'm going to flick to the right. 11 a.m. Button. Collapsed. Double tap to expand. But let's say this event ends at 11.30, not 11. I'm going to double tap to expand and work with it. 11 a.m. Expanded. Flick to the right. 11 o'clock. Picker item. All right. The 11 is correct, so... I want to get to the minutes. I'm going to flick to the right again. Zero, zero minutes. Pick or right. item. So I have to flick up till I hear 30 for 1130. These are the minutes, 30 minutes. So I'm going to flick up. Zero, five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. And notice it moves in increments of five minutes. It's now on 30. Let's make sure it still says AM. I'm going to flick to the right. AM. Pick or item. Right. And that is correct. So I'm going to flick back to the left now with one finger so i can collapse this area 30 minutes 11 o'clock 11 30 a.m button expanded double tap to collapse i'm going to double tap and collapse it 11 30 a.m collapse because it is correct now let's flick to the right again travel time nine. all right button. now we're in some fields that you have you know options you don't have to uh, manipulate these uh, options. It's up to you if they're meaningful to your appointment or not. Uh, but I will show you how to work with them. So travel time is first. So you may want to incorporate some travel time to go buy eggs or not. But let's double tap and open it up for the choices. None. But none. All right, and none is at the top. If I flick to the right, we will hear other choices for travel time okay each time i flick to the right is a new choice five minutes button 15 minutes button 30 minutes button one hour button one hour 30 minutes two hours button dismiss context okay menu, button. so if you think you need to incorporate some travel time you could double tap on any one of those but i'm going to dismiss because i don't need to incorporate any travel time so i'm going to go back to the calendar event that i'm scheduling by hitting double tapping on dismiss travel time none button okay so now i can flick to the right and see what's next repeat never button All right maybe i need to repeat buying eggs okay maybe that's a reoccurring event 
that happens every week or every month, right? Like that. So I'm going to double tap to see my options. Selected. Never. Button. Never is the default. Let's flick to the right to hear some more choices. Every day. Button. Every week. Button. Every two weeks. Button. Every month. Button. Every year. Button. Custom. Button. Dismiss context menu. You can, button. There's quite a few options, even a custom one. But let's say I want to buy eggs every month. I'm going to uh, move back up the list by flicking left until I hear month. Custom. Button. Every year. Button. Every month. Button. All right. I'm going to set this for every month. So I want that. I'm going to double tap on it with one finger. Ends. 11.30 a.m. 3 slash 14 now. slash 24. Here's another funny thing with this app. Again, remember I said sometimes when you make selections, uh, it throws you back into the event that you're scheduling, which is correct, but it throws you into a different field <laughs> than where you last left off, which it did here. It did, you know, I think it was the end time. So I already knew I entered the end time, right, in this calendar event. So I just keep flicking to the right until I hear repeat. 3 slash 14, 11.30 a.m. Travel time, none. Repeat every month. Button. And there it is. This is where we left off, okay? Uh, repeat every month is now updated. Flick to the right. And repeat, never. Button. And repeat, never. I could double tap in here and have some different options of and repeat. Uh, there's a couple options, but I'm only going to just leave it. I want it to continuously remind me every month to buy eggs. So let's flick to the right again. Calendar, personal, button. Here's where you can have things in different calendars. So you could be organized, you know, and have things show up for the proper calendar. Uh, again, like I said, uh, you could have um, a personal calendar, you know, my personal appointments. I could have a work calendar for my work appointments, a fun calendar for vacation. Uh, today, this is a, uh, I've been using a practice calendar, but my default is, here it says personal calendar. That's the default. So I need to change it to the practice calendar. So I'm going to double tap here to open up all my calendars. Calendar exchange. And I have a lot of calendars. So I'm going to, I know I have a lot and I know the practice one is not near the top. So I'm going to touch pretty low. Dismiss context men, college work. And I'm going to start flicking to the right. 7CC college class fun home but selected personal subscriptions and friend stuff practice there's button. practice i double tapped on practice and repeat never button and it's and, it, and you hear it threw me back into repeat never button for repeating the event i am in fact still in you know uh, scheduling this event but it threw me into repeat never but i'm gonna i know i already did that so i'm gonna flick to the right calendar practice Button. And there's calendar practice. So now it's in the proper calendar. Flick to the right again. Invitees, none. Button. Invitees. Maybe you have some invitees you want to invite. Maybe I want to invite my daughter to buy eggs with me every month. <laughs> uh, maybe you have someone you want to invite, you know, to one of your events or your calendar appointments. Uh, you would double tap on invitees. Right now it says none. This is another area where doesn't matter which ca which calendar I uh, have hidden or not. It still prompts me with suggested invitees uh, of names which are um, I want to keep private and for personal and security reasons. So I'm not going to open this field, but uh, I'll talk you through it. So if you want to in you know invite invitees, you would double tap on this. And then at the top is an edit field you could double tap on to search for invitees. Uh, and you could type in their names or emails because they are associated with that. Uh, they do need to be in your contacts or they won't show up. Okay. Uh, and then you'd flick to the right to hear the results. And when you hear someone, you know, the right one, you would double tap on it. And then you would go to the top right and double tap on, you know, add. And then you got to go to the top left to go back to the calendar to continue scheduling this event, okay? Um, so you're going to double tap on invitees. The other method is if you don't know, you know, if you, who you want to invite, you could flick to the right and there are those pumped out suggestions uh, and you could 
if you found one you wanted to invite, you double tap on them. And then you got to, you know, hit the done or the uh, button in the top right. And then you go to the top left to go back to this uh, this calendar event that we're scheduling. All right. So let's look to the right again. Alert. None. Here's button. alert. None. Alerts are fun. You know, you might want to be reminded of when you're going to go buy eggs in this instance or whatever you're adding for an event. I'm going to double tap on alert. Selected. None. Button. None is the default, which is selected. Each time I flick to the right, I will hear other options for alerts. Let's flick to the right. At time of event. Button. Five minutes before. Bu 10 minutes before. But 15 minutes before. Button. 30 minutes before. Button. One hour before. Button. Two hours before. One day before. Button. Two days before. Button. One week before. Button. Dismiss context. So there's menu. quite a few Button. alerts. There's a lot of alerts. Let's do um, one hour before. So that means I have to flick left to go, you know, back up this list. Uh, and I'm going to flick left until I hear one hour before. One week before. Two days before. One day before. Two hours before. One hour before. Button. There it is. I'm going to double tap on that. Calendar. Practice. Button. Okay. Threw me in calendar practice. I'm going to flick to the right. Invitees. None. Button. Alert. One hour before. There's that button. one hour before. Let's flick to the right again. Second alert. None. Button. All right. You can have a second alert. There's none. I'm going to leave it at that. It works, you know, pretty much like the first alert. So you could double tap on there and see your options and pick one. I'm going to flick right again. Add attachment. Button. Here's where I've noticed some people have a little bit of uh, differences depending on which version of your iPhone or iPad you might have. Uh, some people have said that they have some of these options and some say they don't depending on your version. Um, but here we have add attachment. I have the ability to add an attachment. Let's say I have a whole grocery list and I want to include that. I could do that. Um, and then if you flick to the right again. Attachments will be applied to all recurrences. So it says attachments will be applied to all reoccurring events. So every month when I go to buy eggs, that attachment could be um, with each event, the grocery list. Let's flick to the right again. URL, text field. Double tap to edit. Here's URL. I could add you know, a URL for a uh, website. Uh, that I find important. But even if you don't have these things, flick to the right again, you will have this. Notes, text field. Double tap you will to have edit. notes. Use the rotor to access if, misspelled words. Oops. You will have notes. And if you double tap. Text field is editing. Notes, insertion point at start. I double tapped. I brought up the keyboard. It said insertion point at start. So at the beginning of the note, I could type or dictate here. So you might have uh, a website you could just type in here. You might have, you know, uh, a list you want to just, you know, grocery list to type right in here. I'm going to just type in uh, butter two, you know, so it says by eggs. My note is going to be butter two. Cat B. Cat B. U. U. T. 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 E. E. R. R. Space. Space. Butter. T. T. O. 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 Space. Space. Two. Okay, I hesitated because butter sounded really weird to me. So I'm going to use my rotor to make sure butter is correct. Uh, so there is a previous lesson all about the rotor with voiceover. So if you need to double check a note or any information you, you need to access with the rotor, uh, I suggest that you could look on a previous... Um, lesson that I have instructed all about the rotor. So I'm going to turn the rotor to words. Words. I'm going to flick up. To. Bother. And it just sounds wrong. So I'm going to now, um, at the beginning of butter, I'm going to turn the rotor to characters. Characters. Because when, and now I'm going to flick down. Because when you're in the rotor, you flick down and up inside options with the rotor. You don't flick left or right in the rotor. Uh, every other time, well, I shouldn't say every because technology always has exceptions, but most other times uh, you'll flick right and left. But in the rotor, you flick up and down. So I'm going to now flick down. Cat B. U. 
T T E R space space R E T T U cap B. I can't tell that thing cap B, capital V or B. Cap B. I'm going. I think it's V. I'm going to delete the V. Delete cap B. I'm going to add a B. Cap B. Cap B. And I think that will be better. Let's turn it to words. Words. Cap B. Cap B. Utter. <laughs> I've really done it Utter. now. Capital B. <laughs> Character. Cap B. Space. I have a space. I got to get rid of that. L. Delete. Space. Words. Cap B. Bother. Bother. Character. Cap U. T. T. E. R. Space. T. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it. I don't know if I just entered another V or what, but um yeah i was just gonna leave it for that's not really the important part of this lesson but it's just sounding funny and i'm really not sure if it's saying v or b still hmm, okay but anyways i put you know butter too in the note okay so that's the last field uh in this whole calendar uh event to add a, a, a an appointment or event so now you got to go to the top right corner about a quarter of inch down add button and where you had um add at the beginning remember to start the whole process to add a calendar event you finish the process with the add button in the top right about a quarter down so once you hear add you double tap and add butter to march back button. now my event is scheduled Okay, so think of it as bookends. You have to hit add in the top right corner to start adding the calendar event. And you have to hit add for your bookend to complete uh, adding your calendar event. So now I'm going to touch the screen about a third of the way down. And we'll see where we are. Events, Sunday, March 10th, heading. Okay, I'm on Sunday, March 10th. Uh, I'm going to flick to the right. I'm in the... Um, I'm in the presentation of where it's going to show me anything I've scheduled and skip over days I haven't. Toolbar, today, button. All right. Events. Here we go. Day, Monday, March 11th, heading. First night of Ramadan, all day. U.S. holiday, Tuesday, March 12th. Eat ice cream from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Thursday, March 14th. Buy eggs from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Practice. Ah, very good. So there it is. It showed up. Perfect, right? Well, let's say um, now let's we have to edit a calendar uh, appointment or event. Um, you know, I can't go and get my um, buy eggs at 10 a.m. anymore. I think that's the time it said. I need to now switch the time to, I need. I really need to allow myself more time. I need to go at 9 a.m., okay? So I need to edit it, right? So if you had to edit the dentist appointment and they call and ask if you could come in an hour earlier, you know, or a different date or whatever the, the changes you need to make, you would hear the calendar event. Uh, in this case, I'll just let you hear this again. Thursday, March 14th, by eggs from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And when you hear Practice. it, when you hear it, you, you're landed on it. You can double tap uh, with one finger to open it. Buy eggs. Time. From 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Okay. I want to change the time to 9 a.m. I can't just start playing with this. I have to go edit it. All right. So I need to find the edit button, which is in the top right corner, about a quarter inch down. It used to be the add button, but since I've already opened an event I've already added, now that top right corner, about a quarter inch down. Buy eggs. Edit. Button. Says edit. So I'm going to double tap on edit. Cancel. Button. And now all my fields, you know, all my information and options are up for grabs to make any changes. Okay. So I'm just going to start near the top left so you can hear things. Cancel. Button. And we're going to flick to the right. Edit event. Heading. Done. Dimmed. Button. It says done dimmed because I've made any changes. So there's a dimmed. Something that's dimmed means you can't... Uh, I couldn't double tap on done because I, I didn't do anything yet. So I keep flicking to the right. By eggs. Text field. Okay. There's, double tap there's the title. Location or video call. All day. Switch button. Off. Starts. 10 a.m. 3 slash 14 slash 24. 
Remember, that's just that uh, sign. We have to flick to the right again. 3 slash 14 slash 24 button collapsed. Double tap to expand. Okay, I want to change the time though, not the date. So I'm going to flick to the right again. 10 a.m. button collapsed. Double tap to expand. Okay, I'm going to double tap. 10 a.m. expanded. All right. I wanted that expanded so I could work with it. I'm going to flick to the right. 10 o'clock. Picker item. Adjustable. 10 of 12. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. All right. Here's where I can flick down to change it to 9 a.m. 9 o'clock. 9 of 12. All right. Now let's just, I know I already have the hours and the a.m. correct. I'm going to flick to the left. 9 a.m. Button. Expanded. Double tap to collapse. And I'm going to double tap to collapse it because I've made the change. 9 a.m. Collapsed. All right. And now I'm going, I'm done. That's the only change I wanted to make. I mean, you could keep going through all these fields to make changes, but let's um, double tap on, remember the edit field, the edit button in the top right, about a quarter inch down? Well, now if I touch a quarter inch down in the top right. Done button. It's a done button. So uh, now it is a button. It's not dimmed. I can. I made some changes, so I can actually, I can actually push, you know, and double tap the done button, right? So I heard done. I can double tap anywhere on the screen. Done alert. This is a repeating event. Okay. It says this is a repeating event. Okay. I know there's more here, so I'm going to flick to the right. Save for this event only button. Okay. I could make the change for this event only, or I could flick to the right again. Save for future events button. Or I could save it for future events, meaning all events. So I'm going to double tap on that because I want the change for every month. Okay. Cancel. All but right. Notes. Butter two. Now, let's um, talk about deleting an event. All right. I'm going to just um, alert one hour before button by eggs from night calendar practice button. Okay. Let's edit button. March 14th. We got to back out of this. Button. March All right. events. Let's talk about deleting uh, a calendar event. By eggs from 9 a.m. to Thursday, March 14th. Heading. There's the Thursday, March 14th. Flick to the right once more. By eggs from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. There's by eggs. Practice. Oh, wait a minute. Thursday, by eggs. From 9 a.m. to 10.30 yeah. a.m. I, a. I wanted Practice. to make sure that it said 9 a.m. All right, so I'm going to delete this. I don't really care about buying eggs once a month. This was just really for demo purposes, right? So let's double tap and open up this event. Buy eggs. Time. From All 9 right. a.m. to 10. Now, in order to delete it, I really have to, it's editing it, okay? Uh, so I'm going to touch in the top right corner again, about a quarter inch down. Buy egg. Edit. Button. There's that edit button. And I'm going to double tap anywhere on the screen because what I hear is where I am. And I heard edit. Cancel. Button. This is where you can make any changes. This is the same process where I changed the start time from 9 to 10. But I know that delete is pretty far down. It's like the last option here in the edit. Calendar. Practice. Right. Invitee. So I'm going to keep flicking button. to the right. Alert. Second. Add att attachment URL. Butter 2. T delete event. And there it is. Delete event. And I'm going to double tap. Delete alert. Are you sure you want to delete this event? This is a repeating event. All right. It's asking me if I'm sure. So I flick to the right. Delete this event only I, button. I could just delete this one uh, for uh, the 12th. Uh, what is it? The, the 14th of March. Uh, and I have it scheduled for every month. So, you know, I could just delete the 14th, but... I want to delete them all, so I'm going to flick to the right again. Delete all future events button. And I'm going to double tap here because I don't want to, you know, get butter every month. <laughs> I mean, buy eggs or butter, whatever it is. <laughs> I double tap. Delete, cancel, events, Holly, all day, okay. U.S. holidays. So it should be gone. Let us flick to the left. Monday. March 25th. Oh, and Heading. we're way down in there. Remember, it pops you in some funny places sometimes. Saint Patrick's Day. All, All right. Day. I'm going to flick to the left. Saint Sunday. 
Saturday, get... two, for All Monday, right. daylight saving time, Monday, March There's 11th. Monday, March 11th. First night of Ramadan, all day, U.S. holidays. Okay, I'm going to flick to the right. Tuesday, March 12th, heading, eat ice cream, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., practice, Saturday, March 16th, heading, find my pot of gold. And it did, it skipped over Thursday the 14th because I deleted it successfully. So that's how you delete a calendar appointment or event. Uh, I do want to show you, as I mentioned, in the lower right toolbar, inbox, button. The very lower right corner is your inbox. And that is where all your calendar invites would go from other people to you, and you could accept them or not. If I, I don't have any. Um, if you had some, it would tell you a number after it. So it would say inbox two. If you had two calendar invites to respond to, it would say calen uh, inbox three if you had three and so on. It would tell you the number of how many invites you have. But you would double tap on it, which I'll do. Selected. New. Button. All right. One of done. Button. And no invitations. It says no invitations. All right. So if you had any, you would flick to the right. It would tell you the invitation. You'd flick to the right and, you know, you can, uh, you know, accept maybe or, you know, um, you know, say no to. So you have the ability to, you know, if you accept it, it will add it right into your calendar, by the way. Um, maybe we'll also put it in the calendar, but the, you know, user will also see that you haven't totally committed to going, but it keeps it in your calendar. If you... Um, refuse it, then uh, it won't be in your calendar. All right, and so I'm going to hit done in the top right. Done, button, done, button. Right, I'm done. I'm going to double tap, and that would close the calendar invite section. All right. Uh, the bottom middle, the calendars. Toolbar, calendars, button. All right, is where you'd see all your calendars, and I have quite a few um, and we'll talk about hiding and, you know, showing them and hiding them. Uh, so let's double tap on that. Calendars, heading. And I have uh, three different headings for calendars. I could turn the rotor, and I'll do that because we could always practice the rotor. Uh, just as, you know, I had it in a previous lesson, if you want to review the rotor. Let's turn the rotor to headings. Headings. All right, I just turned it to headings. It's a touch twist lift, lift motion. Uh, and if I flick down, exchange heading, there's my exchange heading. If I flick down again, Gmail heading, I have Gmail heading. I flick down again, iCloud, and I have heading. iCloud. So I have those three um, calendars linked to my uh, calendar app on my iPhone. So I'll flick back up to Exchange. Gmail, Exchange. That's Microsoft heading. Exchange. And now I'm going to flick to the right so you hear the calendars within Exchange. Show all button. Now, I flick to the right and it says show all. If I double tap on that, they would all show up in my calendar. But uh, right now I don't have them showing. I'm going to flick to the right again. Birthdays button. There's birthdays. And um, then the next one, if I flick to the right. Calendar. Button. is calendar that's a particular calendar oddly named calendar haha -ha, i know <laughs> flick to the right again future insight and there's my Button. work future insight uh but right now they're hidden because sensitive information but if i flick to the right again selected united states holidays there's holidays Button. and that is selected and did you see here it say selected that means it is showing up that's why we saw saint patrick's day in my calendar in today's lesson flick to the right again gmail and i have heading, gmail hide all button i have gmail and then i have show all i have my gmail linked to my calendar you can do that it's pretty cool that you can see everything in one place um if i double tapped on show all you would see all those in my calendar right now i don't they are hidden for security and privacy flick to the right again selected Holidays in United States. And there's Shared holidays, holidays United in States. United States. Button. Uh, so again, holidays is selected again. And that's why you can see St. Patrick's Day showing up in my calendar more than once, which I'll show you after. 
flick to the right again. Selected. Stuart31 at gmail.com. Selected. Birthdays. That was Shared my um, Gmail. Button. Then I have. Se selected. Birthdays. Birthdays. By contacts. Button. And flick to the right again. iCloud. Heading. And here's my iCloud calendar. I uh, All my calendars in iCloud. And I have a bunch here. Let's flick to the right. Show all. Button. If I Heading. double tapped on show all, they would all show up in my calendar, but I have them hidden. So this is not selected. If I double tap, it would show them. If I double tapped again, it would be back to hidden. So it's like a toggle. All right, so let's flick to the right. College work related. 7C607 college classes. And I'm going to just keep going to the right a bunch. Fun. Share. Home. Button. Personal. Button. Subscriptions and bills. Friends stuff. Selected. Practice. Selected. Demo. Button. Other. Heading. Selected. U.S. Holidays. And there's Subscribe. U.S. Holidays Button. again. So I have U.S. Holidays selected to show up in my calendar uh, from Exchange and in Gmail and in uh, iCloud. So I have three, you know, uh, triple effect of my calendar, of my holidays showing up in my calendar. I'll show you that. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, you know, shows up three times because it's in all three U.S. holiday calendars that I have selected to show up in my calendar. Uh, I'm going to flick to the right again. Selected. Give. Birth. Selected. Siri suggestions. Show declined events. Delegate calendars. Toolbar. Add calendar. Here's Button. where I could add a calendar. Let's do it. I'm going to double tap on that. Add calendar. Button. Okay. Add calendar. Add subscription calendar. Or I could button. I could add a regular calendar button, or I could add a subscription calendar. Flick to the right. Add holiday calendar. Or I could add button. a holiday calendar. I don't think I need a holiday calendar. Let's flick to the left to just a regular calendar. Add subscription. Ca add calendar. Button. All right, so I'm going to double tap on add calendar. Activate the text field. Is editing. Calendar name. Insertion point at start. Okay. I need to give it Use a title to access misspelled words. I have to give it a title. Uh, let's just call it. I really need to call it something unusual because I have way too many calendars and I want to probably delete this one after. So I'm just going to call it fish. Cap F. Cap F. Then was that it? Wait delete. Minute. Cap F. Cap G. Cap alternative. Delete. Cap. Delete. Cap F. Cap F. I, I, S, S, A, A, space, fish. Okay, fish. <laughs> fish calendar. I'm going to keep track of all my fish. Uh, so, I enter that title. Let's go back to the top. Cancel. Button. Add calendar. Heading. Done. Button. Text field. Is editing. Fish. Flick Insertion to the right. Point at Clear text. Button. Account. Exchange. Okay, right Button. now. Uh, exchange is showing up. I don't want it to be exchange. I want it to be an iCloud calendar. I'm going to double tap. iCloud. All right, here's my choices. iCloud. Selected. Exchange. Exchange, which is currently selected. Selected. Exchange. Select iCloud. Accounts. Heading. All right. I'm going to double tap on iCloud. iCloud. Selected. iCloud. All right. And then. Exchange. Exchange. Select accounts. Add calendar. Back I have button. to go back uh, to make any further um, decisions about my new calendar. So that's in the top left corner. Double text tap. field is editing. Fish in clear text. Account. iCloud. Color. Heading. Okay, I could give it a color. All right. And right now. Blue. Button. Blue. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. It might matter to, me, to you depending on how much vision you have. And blue. Let's give button. it blue. Color. Heading. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Selected. Blue. There we go. It's selected. All right. And now I'm done. So I go to the top right corner, a quarter inch down. Calendar color. Calendar color. And I have to heading. back out of this apparently. Add calendar. Back so button. top left. Add calendar back button. Double tap. Text field. I had to get out of all editing. those color choices. So now I'm going to double tap on the top right on done. Done. Button. Quarter inch down. Double tap. Done. Blue. Button. Calendars. Heading. All right. It should be down here on the bottom. I'm in my list of all my calendars. Let's make sure it's in here. It should be fish under iCloud. Exchange. Show. 
I'm just going a bunch. Seven C six college fun home button person subscribe friends stop select selected demo selected fish. There it is, fish. All right, now we're done with all these calendars. So there's another done button in the top right. Done. About a quarter inch down. Double tap. Calendars. March. Back button. All right. So now I'll just show you. Um, I want to show you. Events. Monday, March 11th. Two things. Heaven. I want to show you that the St. Patrick's Day actually is in here three times. First night of Rama. Tuesday. Eat ice cream. Saturday. Find my pot of gold. Sunday, March 17th. Okay, here's Sunday, March 17th. St. Patrick's Day is in here three times because, remember I said it's I have a, a U.S. holiday calendar in Microsoft Exchange, in Gmail, and in iCloud that I have in here. So let's flick to the right. St. Patrick's Day, all day, holidays in United States. There's one. St. Patrick's Day, all day, U.S. holidays. Two. St. Patrick's Day, all day. United States. And three. United States holidays. <laughs> I have it in there three times. Okay. So now I just want to show you that fish actually is now an option when I come, to, when I when I schedule a new appointment, uh, I could pick the fish calendar. So I'm going to um, just start an, a, a calendar uh, event by adding, remember the top right about a quarter inch down? Add button. And I'm going to double tap on add. Text field is editing title. And I'm not going to add the title or anything because we already went over that. I'm going to skip down. I'm going to flick to the right until I hear the calendar. That, okay? So I'm going to flick right. Location or video all day S starts 3 slash 14, 12 a.m. Ends March 14, 1 a.m. Travel time, none. Repeat, never. Calendar, personal. Okay, remember, button. personal is the default right now for me. But I'm going to double tap on calendar, which says personal right now. But I'm going to do double tap here. Calendar exchange. And I'm going to find fish. Capsi. Capsi. Oops. Delete. Capsi. United States Hot Gmail. Word iCloud. College work. <coughs> Seven C six hundred. College cloud. Fun. Home. So subs. Friends stop. Practice. Demo. Fish. There it button. is. Fish. Double tap on Subscriptions fish. Subscriptions and bills. And button. now watch. Repeat. Calendar. Fish. It's in there, <laughs> but I'm going to cancel this. Cancel button. Double Can tap. Alert. Are you sure you want discard changes? Yes, I'm sure. Discard changes. Calendar. March. Back button. <coughs> so there you have it. We've really gone over uh, the um, calendar app quite a bit and how you can engage with it. You now know the difference between Siri and VoiceOver with calendar app. Uh, you have the lay of the land. We've added an appointment. We've edited an appointment. We have deleted an appointment. We talked about the inbox where your invitations would go from other people. And we have talked about uh, hiding and revealing different calendars. And we created a calendar. So I hope that you'll practice. I suggest to uh, you that you'd practice about 15 minutes a day, 15, 20 minutes a day. But do it every day. It's, it's better that way than to practice for an hour or two and become overwhelmed and frustrated. Uh, it's more encouraging to practice 15, 20 minutes a day, you know, tackle a couple of things and then put it down. You're going to catch on if you do it every day and, you know, you're, you're building blocks to success on how to use your iPhone with a voiceover. So I hope that you have learned a lot and I hope you'll practice a lot, have patience, have confidence, and you can do it. So thanks for joining this lesson on calendars using voiceover.